Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, if you've been looking out towards the north, you've probably been seeing some of that lightning, and that has been because starting to see some of those thunderstorms develop. The better area for development is off towards the northeast, and you're really going to be able to see that as I put the radar into motion. As it moves into a more favorable environment, but everything kind of starts here in the Concho Valley, just off towards the northern parts of the Concho Valley. That's where we've been seeing some of those showers and storms, and even seeing some of those uh, hail threat out towards uh, Ballinger and Coleman at that one uh, thunderstorm warning that we've had moved through, and that's mostly been because of the hail. Again, all the stronger stuff well off towards the north, up in southeastern Oklahoma along the Red River. Again, starting out this area, but again, getting much stronger as it moves off towards the northeast. And we're seeing that one cell that's starting to move out of the Concho Valley right now. Do have some more storms back behind it out towards the south of Robert Lee and into southern Sterling County. Again, those are going to continue to strengthen as they move into more favorable environments off towards the northeast as well. Again, you really start to see how the systems really strengthen again as they move out of our area. But you're in the Concho Valley, still seeing some of those stronger storms, especially for our northern parts. This is one now moving. This was the system out towards winters that has now moved out. And you can now see the height on some of these storms. You're seeing up to 35 or even 40,000 feet with the cloud heights on some of these storms. So again, seeing that strong hail core with it, and that's the reason that it had the uh, strong the thunderstorm warning with that. And they uh, begin because of those uh, the possibility for some hail up to one inch in diameter. Warmer temperatures today, again, certainly above average, nowhere close to the record of 93. It's hit back in 1996. Those warm temperatures are going to continue for us as we go into tomorrow as well. 73 right now in downtown San Angelo, a little bit cooler. And this is looking off towards the west. Again, seeing those cooler temperatures back where they've seen some of that rain. Again, out towards Sterling City and Robert Lee. Again, temperatures in the upper 60s. Other areas still in the lower 70s as we kind of go into the evening hours. Tonight, temperatures will be dipping into the low 50s. Still isolated showers and thunderstorms still possible. Again, we'll be looking at it for more in the northern parts of the Concho Valley. But as we go into tomorrow for your Tuesday, again, 2-22-22, not very often you get to see that. Temperatures will be warming up into the upper 70s, afternoon high of 78. We'll see a little bit more of a decrease in that cloud coverage. So as we go through the overnight hours, these storms will start to move off towards the northeast. We'll see a little bit of a break going in towards Tuesday. But as we go in towards Wednesday, we see another chance for some rain showers. And then that's going to be coupled with the arrival of a cold front moving in from the north. So you see it starts out as rain. And then as that cooler air starts to transition further south, that's going to allow it to transition to more of that wintry mix, especially for our northern counties. So places like Sterling City, again, Robert Lee could be in for some wintry action. And then that's also going to have a chance of repeating for us on Thursday as well. So certainly something to watch for with those slippery conditions as we get into the middle of the week. Again, just a 20% chance. I think most of it stays up into the north, but big temperature drop going from Tuesday in the upper 70s down into the lower 30s for Wednesday.